spatial behavior analysis software. So first of all, let's uh, oh, excuse me, the slides. <laughs> yeah. So first of all, uh, what do I call mean by facial behavior? Well, I talk about facial expression, so brow raises, uh, smiles, blinks, etc. About eye gaze, where we're making eye contact, who we're making eye contact with, uh, head gestures such as nods, shakes, tilts of the head, and why we're we interested in analyzing it. Well, faces reveal a lot about our inner states, inner mental states, our emotions. They reveal a lot about uh, our mental health. Uh, they help with uh, navigating the when to interrupt uh, by reading other people's expressions. As a researcher, if you're interested in analyzing these signals, use a commercial system. There's a couple of that are quite expensive uh, with uh, high yearly so they're liable to discontinuation. You never know products won't be available anymore. So existing academic code, but as most of us know performance. It's not often not real-time, it's not cross-platform, it's fairly difficult to integrate into your systems. Uh, all of the algorithms from scratch, or have your students re-implement them. So that's problematic because sometimes uh, data sets used for training are privately owned, we don't have access to them. Papers aren't always no Is challenging. So what we propose is analysis system that operates on images, video, facial landmarks, head pose, eye gaze. We also extract uh, appearance features in text files, or you can communicate it over the network through a messaging system, various real-time and interactive applications. So I'll go over at the poster session. So we detect a face, we extract facial landmarks, you the same algorithm we extract uh, eye region, those landmarks to extract head post position and to align a face. So, what does our toolkit provide? Competitive algorithms for all of the tasks I need of a GPU. It's open source. Our code to train the models yourselves on your fetching uh, uh, graphical user interface. You can see whereas for Ubuntu and Mac users, that whereas Windows users need a bit more help. Um, so, in conclusion, uh, come to our poster to see uh, more about how the system works and because I'm feeling adventurous and I have like 40 seconds left I'll try showing you a demo of our system and let's see if the projector manages to handle it. Yep. Okay.